Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the sonnets and today we have sonnet number 33 which reads Full many a glorious morning have I seen flatter the mountain tops with sovereign eye kissing with golden face the meadows green gilding pale streams with heavenly alchemy Anon permit the basest clouds to ride with ugly rack on his celestial face and from the forlorn world his visage hide, stealing unseen to west with this disgrace. Even so my sun, one early morn did shine, with all triumphant splendor on my brow. But out, alack, he was but one hour mine, the region cloud hath masked him from me now. Yet him for this, my love no whit disdaineth. Sons of the world may stain when heaven's sun staineth. So this one is is fairly straightforward. He's talking about in the first four in the first stanza, the first four lines, he's talking about how he has seen many a beautiful morning turn into an ugly, cloudy, gloomy, rainy day. Actually, that's about the first eight lines of this poem. The first four, he's like, I've seen the sun rise and kiss the mountaintops and make the water sparkle and all that sort of thing. But then by midday, late evening, it gets cloudy and gross and rainy and the sun just sort of sneaks away and hides. And then in lines nine through 12, he says that that's what happened with his love, that it was beautiful, but it was brief and is now gone from him and hiding behind some sort of cloud. And then in the last two lines, he's saying, but he doesn't love his love any less for that, because if the sun in the sky can hide behind a cloud and get gloomy, then a person can too. So it's, it's fairly straightforward. And a lot of the analyses that I saw said that this is another fair youth poem talking about uh, whether or not there actually was a relationship with this person, that there was probably some betrayal that happened on the part of that person that ended up separating that person from Shakespeare. Though there was one analysis that I read that was like, well, is there any other way that we can look at this? Maybe depending on when this actual sonnet was written, maybe he was actually writing about his son, Hamnet, who died at a very early age, which is why I got a little choked up towards the end there because he's, he would then be talking about having lost a child early saying he was but one hour mine he'd be talking about losing a child in in childhood and the grief of a parent and and trying to cope with the grief of a parent who has lost a child as opposed to just somebody who is no longer with their lover so whichever way you want to look at it it's it's sad either way um, and if you've got another way to look at this one please leave it in the comments i'd love to hear it but yeah that's sonnet 33 i'll see you tomorrow for 34. Mwah.